but I don't want no tea. It gives me a headache. Oh, uh, well, uh, uh, what shall we have then? Coffee. Well, hello, everyone. Um, I've got a little bit of a stuffed up nose with the allergies and my cat and stuff, so I apologize for my stuffed up nose voice tonight. Okay, let's get started. I've been having a lot of fun. Um, it's quite a project. Uh, as you can see, I showed you this last time was this uh, side skirt or fender, and I finished that. Then I told you I had to go over to this side. Well, this side was worse than the original side. Uh, I had a lot of fit problems with the curvature along here. I had to shave off the bottom eighth of an inch and make it so it was straighter because I couldn't bend this at a curve. I did end up cutting it here like I did. Oh, let me show you. I'm sorry. I keep coming on camera. I had to cut that to be able to bend that little section over more. Um, it won't be seen, but it just makes me mad that I had to do that. It doesn't match perfectly here, but I'll leave that up to um, war damage. Yeah, 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 that's right, war damage. <laughs> Believe me, I spent a long time on this just to get it to look this good. So I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm pleased with it. That's all that really matters as long as I'm happy, right? All right, uh, other things I've been doing. Um, I put on this plate back here uh, a couple bends and then bending and then having to bend this up at an upward angle that was not too bad as you can see um, that went on really nice um, I put the call box on here for when the infantry has to call or they the tanks move along real slow and infantry's behind it they open it up and if there's a phone in there you can talk to the commander of the tank I put the uh, so-called license plate number on uh, but I know it's just a number for their for their purposes. I put on the travel lock. That was different. Um, I used all of the DM Dragon stuff, and boy, it didn't want to work. Uh, you put you put this flat piece, these two pieces here, this one and this one, onto the flat piece. Then I tried to fit the A frame here. But it was too wide, so I actually had to bend this in and bend that in just to make it work. And even then, it was bowing this up. So what I had to do is put the piece on here without gluing these hinges on. Without gluing, sorry, without gluing this onto the hinges. So I just kind of snap fit it on there. Then I took and I measured it evenly across here. I then held it down with my finger, took some 10x7, tacked it there tacked it there and then I hit the middle one so I tacked it down then I got some more 10x7 came in on the other sides and finally tacked it down then I was able to lift this up make sure it looked good everything was cleaned up put a little of the model master glue under this and under these two and set it right down it worked really nice but if you don't do that right if you do it the way they tell you to do it you won't, there's no markings. You, you won't know where to put it. Uh, so you have to do that method. Otherwise, good luck. Um, also, these two red holes were red, red putty stuff right here were just for um, filling in some holes that I don't need now. Um, what else did I do? Oh, um, the basket on the back. Uh, last I left off with you folks, I had finished these. Now I put on these plates, this one and this one. This one has a little box you create, and I think according to the structures, it's open on this end. So I put those on. Looks kind of cool, adds a little bit of dimension to it. Um, I have, let me get my tweezers, because I don't want to pick this up by hand. Here is the um, delicate wire type photo etch piece for the, <laughs> for the guard for the uh, periscope guard. I showed you I did one on the other turret, on the turret itself, but this one is for the um, well, passenger side uh, of the uh, tank for, hold on, this one's for here. And I'm not lifting it up, so I didn't do anything underneath. So there's nothing spectacular about that. Here's the one that needed all the work. This is the driver's side. 
And you can see the small little bracket. I had to add the metal handle in. I had to shave off the plastic one they had on there. It looked horrible. Put on a metal one, so I drilled the holes for that, did all that. Then on the reverse side, you can see I had to add on the periscope. I had to cut it down, fit on that photo etch part, drill a tiny hole. I don't know if you can see it or not. Right there in that triangle piece. And it turned out really nice. I'm real happy with it. That'll be right, that'll be coming off of here. Let me show you. Well, it'll break it. I'm just mainly worried about the, the periscope guards. It'll sit right here like this. You know, like that, with it open, so it'll be seen. This one's going to be closed. This one will be have the driver, and it'll have him sticking out. I may close it if I don't do the figures. So, we'll see. Um, uh, the other hatches, I think I showed this one. This is the... Uh, um, loader's hatch. This is commander's hatch all finished. I think I showed those two to you. It has a periscope on it. Fun part today um, has been this. I decided to use the Dragon Photo Etched on with the Legends gas can or the water can. I used the Dragon Photo Set. It's better than the Legend one. A lot easier to put together and it turned out really nice. Uh, this piece goes up and splits off to here so you got to bend these in around curvature it's not that difficult um it has a bottom plate too as you can see you fold that up bend these around same thing with this and at the end if it'll focus in on it right here you can see that there's a little bolt pattern so you have to bend those out so that when this fits up against a tank it bolts right in the top strap here oh, it's so bright hold on Top strap here. Let's see if I can focus in. Yeah, that's not the best camera in the world, folks. This top strap right here, I glued down to the top so that I could insert this strap mechanism here up from latching onto here, up through this buckle, back down through a closed set, and then back down hanging like it's a leather strap. That was fun, but it actually wasn't too bad. You know, I, I may tease a little bit, oh, pain in the butt or this. Or it wasn't too bad to do this. I actually had fun doing this, and I've got to do five more of these. <laughs> uh, but it, it looks really well. The, the mixing of the Legends uh, kit and the... Um, Dragon kit sometimes works, so I'm real happy with that. Um, let me show you also. I've got my guys all fixed up. Here is the uh, uh, commander, and he's ready to rock and roll. He's all cleaned up, and he looks pretty good. Uh, there's some really well detail on this. this is the um, what kid, uh, kit is this? Oh, this is Verlinden's kit. That's right. This is the guy from the Verlinden kit. So he's pretty cool. He's got a smirk on his mouth all, ha ha, yeah, I'm James Cagney, yeah, see, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's not a good James Cagney. All right, and so that's the, that's the, uh, that is the commander. Here is the loader, and he's pretty cool. So he's all primered. I had to clean him up a little bit and touch him up. I had to fix the back, um, Thing right there, I had it almost broken off. I had to re glue it and fix it. That's for the microphone, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's for his microphone. So he's pretty cool looking. I like him. And he's got a little expression like, What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> and then you have the driver. And um, he's pretty cool looking. I like him. Um, but he's he's pretty neat. So he's all done. They're all primered. I'm letting the primer dry. Um, I started the other day, and then I doing last night. I cleaned them up a little bit more. Saw what mistakes I made when I put the first primer coat on, and then I fixed it up after that. So uh, then I primed it again today. So they're still drying. I want them to dry for a, di a day before I do anything. Once they're painted, and if I'm happy with the way they're painted and happy with the way they look. I will um, put them in here, and then I'll leave these hatches open, and you'll be able to see the driver. You know, same thing up here. You know, I'll leave them open, and you'll be able to see the commander and all that stuff like that. If I don't like them, or they don't turn out the way I think they should, then I'll close all the hatches, and that'll be the end of that. So, like I said, I'm happy with what progress I'm making. By the time I get done with this, this will be the m most complicated 
um, model I've built with photo etched and aftermarket stuff and resin more than a U-boat. U-boat was a lot of fun. This is more fun. <laughs> but uh, it's it, like I said, it'll, it'll be the most complicated one I've ever done. Uh, multimedia. Um, so it's worth it. Uh, this, this will be my favorite when it gets done, hopefully. Um, I'll probably end up putting it underneath a plexiglass case uh, because if, if this thing ever gets dusty and you try and dust it, you'll break parts off. That's how fragile they are. But anyway, okay, I just wanted to keep you updated. She's looking good. I'm very happy. And uh, hey, look, if you want to try Photo Edge, I recommend it. But please pick something easier than this. It's really nice to do photo etch. It does add that detail aspect. It does make everything, like the fenders, look thinner than the, the thick plastic ones. It does give it that look. Um, only if it's done right. Dragons wasn't doing this with the A team. They were using a B or C team to design these photo etch parts for this thing. Uh, but you know what? Overall, I'm happy. All right, well, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, next time when I finish some more, I'll let you all know. And... Uh, We'll have a fun time together. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.